In this video, I'll show you how you can use symbols for your slicers to create custom looks for your dashboard reports. This is our sample data set. It's some HR information with call center, name, sex, full-time equivalent information, and the base salary of each person. What we want to do is to create a pivot table that shows the cost center with the average salary that's associated with each cost center and we want it by sex and FTE. So first of all, let's just create our pivot table first. Let's create our standard slicer just to see how it looks and then let's see how we can replace them with symbols. This is just a normal Excel table now what I'm going to do is to transform it to an official Excel table by pressing Ctrl T. Okay, because that way when I create a pivot table based on this and I have new data that comes in, my pivot table is automatically going to accept the new data when I refresh it. I don't have to expand my source. First of all, I don't like this design, so I'm just going to go and clear it to get back to my old design. Let's give this table a name. We can summarize it with a pivot table. I want it on the existing spreadsheet. Let's just put it here and press OK. I'm going to bring cost center to the row, so I'll just put a tick mark. Let's see if it figures it out. Sometimes it does, and this time it didn't because cost center is numbers, so it's thinking that it should add them up. But I don't want it there. I want it here. I want my base salary in the values, okay? But I don't want to show the full, the sum of the base salary. I'm going to either click here and go to value field settings or right mouse click here. Doesn't matter where we do it. So I'll just go directly from here and say, I want the average. And while I'm here, let's go and make sure that we use thousand separator type of formatting. Now I came to custom, but I don't have to, I can also take a number formatting from here and activate the thousand separator without decimal places. So now I'm going to say, okay, so that looks much better. Let's go and change the layout of this report to show it in tabular format so that we can see our headers here. We can change this to, to just total. Okay, let's change the formatting of this to this color, the gray, my favorite color. And I'm just going to bring it a bit down because we want to add the slicers on top. And let me just put this background white. That's basically all the cost centers and that's the average of base salary, which doesn't look nice. So we want to call it average base salary. Now I want to create a slicer, let's say for the sex, so I'm going to right mouse click and say add as slicer. Let's go to options as well and change it to the format that fits here better. I have F and M so I can click on these and the pivot table is restricted to show this selection. I can obviously update this to fit better, but what I want to do is to show symbols. So the female symbol here and the male symbol here. Also for FTE, if I right mouse click and say add as slicer, you can see the different FTEs I have, but I don't want to see them like this. I just want to distinguish between full-time and part-time using two symbols. Okay, so anything that's less than one, I want to show as part-time and anything that equals one, I want to show with a separate symbol. Okay, so I want to have nice symbols that I put on top of my pivot report and I can switch between full-time, part-time and female, male. What I need to do is to bring in those symbols in my original data source, especially for these cases where I have different numbers that I want grouped together. So anything less than one should be this symbol. I can bring it into the data source. And here, because I have text, I can also bring in a separate column that puts in the symbol in my data source. 
So what I'm going to do here is insert a new column and that's going to be the symbol for sex. So <laughs> sex symbol, shortcut for male symbol is if you hold down the Alt key and you go to your number side of your keyboard and you press 11, you get the male sign. And if you hold down Alt and press 12, you get the female sign. Okay, so I can use these in my if formula. Here are some of the unicharacter codes that I figured out. I already know that what these symbols are, but I'm just going to show you the formula for it. So that's the unicare, open bracket, that's the number, close bracket, enter. So that's the female symbol, the next one should be the male symbol. And this is the symbol I want to use for part-time workers. And that's the symbol I want to use for full-time workers. Okay, so these unique character codes, they range really, they have a huge, huge range of numbers. You can Google it and come up with the character that's associated to each of these numbers. Or you can also play with it yourself. So just add a bunch of numbers to Excel and then pull down these formulas and you get all these different characters. And you like some of them, copy and paste the ones that you think you might use in the future in kind of like a template or a symbol template that you can use whenever the time comes. Okay, so in this case, I'm just interested in the first four. I'm gonna control C it, and then I'm gonna right mouse click and paste them as values because I wanna use them in my formula. Okay, so going back here, I already have these two symbols with the shortcut key, so Alt 11 and Alt 12. I'm going to use them in the if function. Just make a simple one. If this equals M, then this symbol, otherwise the female symbol. That looks good. Press enter. Okay, so they're all automatically populated because this is an Excel table. So that's the advantage of having Excel tables. Now for FTE, I'm going to have FTE symbol and say if this equals one, then, and now this is where I need to copy and paste those. So let me just put the quotation marks here. Otherwise this, enter. Let me go here and copy these. So Control C, put them together. So I'm going to Control V here, highlight both Control C and press Escape. I have them together. Let's go and paste them in. So if it's one, it's a full time. Otherwise, if it's not one, it's going to be or that person is going to be part time. So I have them in there. This is an Excel table. So I just have to come here and refresh and they are already in my pivot table. I no longer want to use these slicers. I'm just going to delete and delete. What I do want to use are my new slicers. So I'm going to right mouse click on this one, add it as slicer and I get my symbols. Okay. So Optimally, I want to place this on top. Now let's go to options. We don't need them to be that big and we don't need them to have a header. So I'm going to right mouse click and go to slicer settings and do not display that header. Also, let's pick a very similar slicer design like that. Okay, but you see that border here. I don't want the border and all of these have borders, unfortunately. So what we need to do is right mouse click this and duplicate it. And I'm just going to put slicer no border. So for the whole slicer here, I'm going to go to format border none. Okay, you can make a lot of changes to the slicers. You have really full control over the fonts, the color, everything. But in this case, I just want to take that border away. It looks like it's there because it's still sitting on the original ones. I have to go here and click on the one that I did. So now I can switch 
male and female. What about the FTE? That's the FTE symbol. I'm going to right mouse click and add a slicer. So now I just have full-time and part-time workers. Let's go and apply the new slicer design that we just created. And to this, I'm going to add two columns. I can leave the heading if I want, but in this case, I'm going to go and also take it away. Okay, so I'm going to put that here. Now I can take a look at females working full time. That's the average salary. Females working part time. That's the average salary. What about males working part time? Well, much higher salary here and male working full time. This is how you can use symbols in your slicers. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And for more of these videos, why not subscribe to my channel for updates when new videos like this one come out.